Crunchy, tasty, sweet and there are so many different types of it. Some are with chocolate, some are with honey or fruit, but we all love them. It's a snack that you can eat any time of day and not get tired of. Well, obviously, the only thing we are talking about is... Cornflakes. Actually, you should be talking about cereals and not cornflakes. Cornflakes are just a special brand of cereals, you dumb... Shh. Be quiet, Lucas. I know that it's called cereals, but... Cornflakes sound so much better. And now, go watch Paw Patrol or something like that. The idols are gonna have a talk about cornflakes now. In year 2009, Nestle had the idea to bring the two biggest passions of every child together. They... They put video games into the cereal packaging. Wow! Yo. Amazing! Nice! Today we will be taking a look at three of the games Nestle made and check whether they are actually playable or absolute garbage. And no, we won't talk about the fact that Nestle is a terrible brand. Focus on the important stuff gamers. Video games. Starting off with Dinosaur Way Squareslands, a game where we get to choose a character out of a handful of dinosaurs and have to get the first place in five races in a row. With every race won, we can unlock a new playable dinosaur. Obviously, my goal is to unlock the T-Rex. Race number one guys, let's go! Our Spinosaurus has to give it his all to be the first at the breeding spot to get the hottest milk dinosaurs to breed with. Um, no, I'm not kidding. That's actually what this game is about. My Instagram? You can have my Instagram. <laughs> on the button on the right, we can see that we are veggie eating dinosaurs, so we have to collect leaves. If we collect five of them, we get a little speed boost. If we collect the wrong food, we lose a bit of our speed, so we shouldn't collect the meat. Yeah, that's basically the gameplay. Oh, and we can actually activate our speed boost now. Run. Yo, oh, yo, 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 oh yo, yo, yo! Did you guys have any of these games or did you even know they existed? I for myself am kind of a marketing victim when it comes to games like this. I heard that Cornflakes had games in their boxes when I was a kid and just had to annoy my mom to buy these things for me. Same goes for Happy Meals. One time they had video games with dragons in them where every Happy Meal had a different game about a different dragon in it. And if you collected all of them, you could play with all dragons at the same time. I still remember that I cried as I got the same game twice and my dad had to go to the cashier and trade the game for a different one. I was such a shitty kid, not gonna lie. A really annoying shitty kid. Always crying and that stuff. Sorry to my parents, I guess. Oh, oh guys, do you remember when they had these plastic lightsaber spoons in the packaging of cornflakes? I always wanted the Darth Maul double lightsaber spoon. Prepare for my double spoon lightsaber Jedi. Watch out Obi-Wan, he got the double crunch lightsaber. Oh no! I don't remember ever finding it though. I, I miss these times, man. But I guess it's better for the environment to put... Something different and not plastic toys in thousands of cereal boxes. Well, on the other hand, it's Nestle, so it may be back one day. It was all going good, but then I got to the last race and I had to play a tiny dinosaur, which was kinda difficult to control. No, he's too fast! He's too fast! But eventually, I made it in the end. And... Did you guys know that you can buy a life-size dinosaur? Yeah, you can actually buy a whole ass dinosaur for 12 grand. If I was rich, I would do it. Imagine you invite your friends over to a barbecue party in your garden, and then there's just a huge life-size Brachiosaurus minding his own business. Na 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 na. Oh my god, June, what do you got there? Brachiosaurus! Time for game number two. Arctic Rescue Mission. Which is a helicopter simulator as it seems. Embark on an Arctic mission and photograph wildlife. Maneuver your plane through the Arctic wilderness and frame good photos to document wildlife to scientists. Each photo is scored, so use your film wisely. Okay, I don't quite get why it is a rescue mission to make pictures of wild animals. But I won't question that point. Oh, now that I see it, I actually remember having the game as a kid. 
I used to play it all day long. It looked so good to my 9 year old eyes. But to be honest, now the graphics look a bit outdated. But our goal is to make the epic photos of animals, so let's give it our best shot. This plane is so hard to control. Not so fast, not so fast. Slow down, slow down! Considering the fact that you take photos of animals, you could call this game Pokemon Snap 2. Just that this game has far better graphics. Okay guys, time to focus on the game again. We want to shoot the best pick ever. And now we are already at the last game, which is a quiz game about animals. <laughs> then a straight up lick ketchup from that guy's nipples. <laughs> You're about to play for one million dollars. What do you plan to do with all that money? So basically, I saw that you can buy a life-size Bachiosaurus online. I want this dinosaur. Uh, you must be a very stupid individual to believe that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now we are already at the last game, which is a quiz game about animals. Animals that live in the sea. We have many different options of categories here. And I'm not sure which one to pick. I mean, I once owned a turtle, so I'm probably gonna choose reptiles. And let's give it a shot. Let's test our knowledge. Where do sea turtles lay their eggs? On beaches. Oh, so cute. Look at these little turtles. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Okay. How many years have turtles been on Earth for? Uh, 50 million, 100 million? Ah, never. Never over so many million years. I gotta go for... What? As if they've been around for more than millions of years, okay? Maybe I'm just stupid. Uh, anyway, next question. Click on where you think I live. Uh, all these beasts always live in Australia. It's, it's always Australia. It's not? Wait, but where do they live? Where do they live then? Africa or South America? Oh, we fucked up. Oh, so you have not earned a badge this time. Oh, that that's kind of sad. Let's do a random round. Move the pictures to the correct place in the food chain. Okay, we got dolphins, we got some kind of bacteria maybe, I don't know. We gotta put this at least, then fish, then the calamari and then dolphins. Actually correct, wow, okay. Definitely knew that. Orcas only eat plankton. Uh, oh. They eat little fish and sometimes even human beings. Move the creature's pictures to its names. Clownfish. Then we got... Orca. Toad. And Dolphin. Oh, we got the live-action Fighting Nemo movie. Where are you? You score 10 points in the category, that means you get a gold explorer's badge. Oh, I gotta put this badge on my shirt to brag around in my city. June, you may be stupid and your video was more than cringe, but I would like to reward you with the highest honor I can bestow. My subscription. Yeah. 
up, but these were three games made by Nestle, and even though they made many many more, I gotta say for the fact that these were games that were produced only for being a cool gimmick to the serial, these games actually were kinda fun to play. It only took like 10 minutes to play through each of these games, but you can always retry and try to get a new high score, so you can be quite busy with these games. All in all, and considering the fact that these games were just a gimmick and came out in 2009, I'll weight them with 4 out of 5 C wheel bowls. And you can weight this video now by writing either a nice comment or a hate comment under this video. I'll read every notification I get, so yell your opinion in my face. That being said, tap subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And see you in the next video. You're June.